Your first alert weather. It is September. Meteorological fall has just started a few days ago and welcome yes again to Labor Day weekend. So we're figuring the temperatures are going to cool down, right? Wrong. As we do have temperatures mostly ramping up over the next couple days, maybe even into the middle of the week with the system we got present right now over Idaho. Currently 84 in Pocatello with a nice breeze coming out of the southwest at 15 miles an hour. We're going to have some concerns coming up quick besides the heat, and that's going to be the air quality. Right now it's looking pretty okay, moderate in most areas. We don't have too much smoke filtering in just yet, but with our Vipercast, that boundary fire in central Idaho is kind of going quickly off to the east side, and more smoke could be filtering into the valleys from northern California even overnight and into tomorrow. As you see, it's a lot more widespread. I'd probably say over ketchup and salmon for tomorrow. Little Valley is sticking a little more clear for tomorrow, especially if you're happening to go down to the Eastern Idaho State Fair. We'll get a forecast for you on that actually coming up later uh, in this segment for you. But uh, looking at our satellite and radar, high pressure system has been keeping us nice high and dry for the past couple of days or so. A little bit of clouds filtering into salmon, but nothing that should produce any precipitation any time soon at all. In fact, once we get into our Viper cast for you, you'll see the high pressure system is dominant in the southwest. You'll see it coming a little bit into the picture right there, as well as a high pressure system just to our east of our area, keeping us nice and dry. Cold front that just you kind of see up here for tomorrow uh, for the northern half of the state kind of just whiffs on by and doesn't really hit us at all and doesn't really play into much of an effect. But you see most of the winds that high pressure system down in Nevada, it doesn't really see it show it pre present with a giant H on it, but it's going to be, you can see it a lot present on Tuesday where we have a lot of winds coming up from the south up to the north. So you're getting warmer air down from the so desert southwest, which is going to continue to ramp into Tuesday and even into Wednesday as well. But if you notice, a cold front is on the horizon just off the Pacific Ocean, or I should say just off the Pacific coastline, that will look to cool temperatures down later into the week. So we're expecting this about midweek, about with these temperatures sticking around, but uh, we'll see how much it ramps up because it could be quite intense out there. Right now, sticking around 80 degrees for most of us, if not high 70s, 78 in Rexburg, 74 over in Jackson. But the next three days, especially for the Eastern Idaho State Fair, it's going to be hot. 87 tomorrow, ramping, ramping up even into 90 on Monday and even filtering in more hazy and smoky skies for you on Monday and Tuesday. But temperature is going to look to stick around 90 degrees actually for Monday and Tuesday. So ramping up the temperatures into tomorrow, 86 in Milan City, 82 in Lava Hot Springs and Soda Springs alike, 84 in Rexburg, 82 in Ashton, and 77 in Island Park tomorrow. 82 in Ketchum, getting up almost to 90 tomorrow in Salmon. It's 89 degrees the high there. And lastly, let's take a plane, Burley possibly getting up to 91 degrees tomorrow. Pocatello up to 88 in Idaho Falls, still ramping up to 85 degrees. Here's your eight-day forecast for you coming up. 87 tomorrow in Blackfoot, ramping up to 90 on Monday, and then sticking around 90 degrees for Tuesday as well, and then God, ramping up to 93 on Wednesday. That's how many continuous days we're going to continue to filter in much more of the sunshine to heat us up throughout the week with some rain chances to ramp off your wrap off your weekend. Rexburg heading up to 88 on Monday and Tuesday, getting up to 92 on Wednesday. If you notice later half of the week, quick cool off down to 74 possibly by next weekend, thanks to some cloud cover and rain chances, which will help bring in a cold front. Salmon up to 90, maybe even tomorrow, but expect to expect that more on Monday and Tuesday and into Wednesday for you. Hot and hazy, sticking around for the next four days there. That might be a little bit brutal for you. Jackson up to 80 tomorrow, only up to 83 on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then could be getting down to highs in the 60s by next weekend with some, with some good rain chances expected for, forth from there. 88, the high will be expected from tomorrow in Pocatello up to 91 on Monday, and then getting down to highs in the 70s with some rain chances that will look to be increased in the later half of next week into next weekend. Idaho Falls, lastly, sticking up with a high of 85 tomorrow, getting up to 89 on Monday and the 92 on Wednesday. Again, we haven't seen highs in the 90s for about a month now. 
Uh, so maybe hopefully this will be the last time we do be able to see those, especially with those rain chances in the cold front coming through on next weekend. Possibly we're going to get some thunderstorms. All right. Thanks so much, Evan. President Joe Biden.